be using the Fusion M2 today. It's my go-to laser. I like that thing. And uh, we're gonna do some wine glasses. And you know, when I first started doing the wine glasses, it was tough because they have a curve to them, and you can never get the etching right. And it always felt like there was uh, like slivers or splinters coming off. So after doing this for so long, I came up with some tricks that I found that worked for me and maybe it'll work for you. So I'm gonna show you today how I do it. So the glasses that we we use is the Libby. We like them. Um, it's been the best so far, far as etching wise, and they come out really nice. Uh, that's the arch that I was talking about, the curve on the bottom. So let's set up the laser. I'll show you how I do it. I'll put you in the, put it in the laser, put you in the laser so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And then I'll go through the steps, what I do on the computer and walk you through all that stuff. All right, so what I like to do is on the rail down here, I have marks. So, I, cause I run a lot of the wine glasses and I run a lot of other stuff on our rotary. So what I like to do is mark, mark it and on inside of the rail, I just write wine so I know which mark is for what. Now we take the wine glass, put it in there, and make sure that this is adjusted all the way down. So once it's all the way down, you can tell it's kind of loose and it's not screwing anything tight yet. You go until you just, you can feel like a resistance a little bit on it, right there, and I go just a hair of a turn more, and that's it. So <clears throat> in this setup, this sets like almost perfect right in here where I'm gonna etch where it's level every time. So once you have that set up, we're gonna take this tool and we're gonna bring the focus up. And that's gonna tell me when to stop. So I always go until this piece moves. See, just moved. All right, so now that is set and ready to go. Okay, so now that we have that moved, we're gonna jump into the computer and I'll show you how I set up my program. All right, guys, once you open your program up, you're gonna have a blank page because you've never done this before. And we're gonna, I'm gonna help you set up your page. So you wanna go up to here, your page size, put in four and a quarter and eight inches. And this is if you're gonna use the Libby wine glass. This, these are the settings that work for us. Uh, here's my old laser for the Legend 24EX and this is my laser, the newer one that's a 60 watt Epilogue Fusion. Now you can use this for any Epilogue 60 watt that is I believe 2010 and newer. It's, it'll be the same settings and it works good. It, it all should be the same from then on. So now <clears throat> once you have these settings in what I like to do is I make this yellow part and I put center on line. So every time I go and grab what I'm going to etch, which was because kids today, we're going to put that on the center and I know it's going to be within the line there and it's the bottom of the glass is somewhere in here. There will be center in the glass. It'll be work out perfect and it's right where it needs to be. So let's get you some measurements here. What I like to do is go in, so we'll measure this. And it's 1.94. So you're gonna make your rectangle 1.94. Make it longer than the page, it doesn't matter. Color it yellow. And then you're gonna put this line, make a line, which do that right up here. Freehand tool, two point line. And we're gonna just make it the length of the page. Click. <clears throat> Control spacebar is a shortcut and it brings you back to your mouse pointer. So now once you have that set, I'll take a measurement here for you. That'll be 1.41. So you go up here to your nudge factor, we're going to put in 1.41 and hit enter. Now we're going to grab this, note, grab the note up here, put it on the page. Just hit down. Now we have the line there. And then you can grab it, highlight the whole thing. Once you have the whole thing highlighted, you can hit Control G and that groups it. Now it'll never move. Okay, so now we're gonna go in and pick Because Kids and 
on the newer epilogues, I like to etch with the grayscale at 80. So it's your third one in. So I always make sure it's at that grayscale before I put it in. So I'm going to grab it. Put it in. Make sure. Oops. My node's set too high yet. So let's re-grab that. Put it up there. Then we'll go back in here. Let's set our nodes at 0 .00. No, just do 0 01. That'll work. So now, if you're close to the edge, you could just click it, hit nudge down one. But we're fine there. So once you have that all set up, you're good to go there. And then we're going to go into print. Control, let's highlight it first. Control P, brings up the print page. So now, with having all these notes over here on the side, you can see what you've always put in the past on the settings. So let's go into preferences. We'll go down to 300 DPI. We'll go to raster, page size, four and a quarter by eight. Now image dittering. You can do it however you want for image dittering, but what I've found is the Jarvis has been the best and it puts the dittering out enough where it you have where it's just overlapping each dot because the dittering's a bunch of little dots and it's enough where it really makes the white pop you can go less and it gets more faded you can go more but then it it's like it chips a lot more it's easier to chip so i i found jarvis has been by far the best so we're gonna pick jarvis and then power settings, we're gonna go up to 100%. And speed, we're gonna bring down to 30. All right, now, and again, this is for a 60 watt CO2 laser. We're gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna hit print. All right. So once that's up and going, you go over your laser and you can run that. I'm going to show you one more trick here. So <clears throat> once in a while we get people that want proofs. And what I found is when I take a measurement of the glass, how tall it is. So then I put in how tall this glass is. So I know this is going to be the size that I'm going to do it. So this is what I like to do. I like to place it on the cup so that people can see what it is. And it's just a, a way to show them what it's gonna look like and you know, close as I can without actually printing it. You know, and, and it's tough because it's, it's just a helper. You can't get really technical with it, but it at least helps and shows people what it's gonna kinda look like. So they can pick the fonts and so forth. Now, if you're doing like a really tough logo and they want to move it a 16th here and a 32nd there, you, you can't do it this way. All right, let's go run this and see what it turns out to look like. All right, so once it's done, you can go in there and you can just grab it, take it out, we'll open it up. Slide it right out of there. We got the done glass, shut the door. We'll take a look at this. So this is the end product. Let's see if it zooms in on there, focuses. It says, because kids. So what I like to do is take a, a cloth, a towel, and I like to just rub my hand over the etching and it pulls all the little slivers off. And you'll notice on here, is that better? You'll notice on here that there is no chips, there's no like defects anything it just it etches so well that that's why I like those settings it just it's perfect 
it took me a long time and a lot of glasses a lot of glasses to get to this point but you know you don't have any sharpness whatsoever you have a nice white and it really pops when you have a glass of wine in there and you know I've had a lot of compliments on this and it's been very well for us and I hope this helps you guys and shows you that you know anything's possible and that you, it's you know you can you can do it it's easy it just takes a little time and you know the struggle it's it's worth it it's totally worth it in the end we sell a bunch of these and a lot of people like them and it's an easy thing to etch it's something that I when I first started I didn't think that we'd sell any cuz everyone sells them you know it's such a big thing and I was even told oh I don't sell who why would you do that you can go to Target and get some well you know that's whatever but we did it and it worked and we still sell a bunch of them and I highly recommend to you guys to just get out there and start selling it everyone someone out there likes the way you make something or likes the way that you like the same thing and it's worth it just do it I hope this all helps uh, you know if leave me some comments down below what you guys want to know next and we'll we'll make a video or we'll contact you and if you need some help on some settings or anything just let me know uh, yeah please like comment and subscribe 